All right, thyroid stimulating hormone or TSH has a normal value of two to 10. The indication for running this lab is to diagnose hyperthyroidism or hypothyroidism and to monitor thyroid replacement therapy uh, and to assess the, the function of our pituitary gland, our anterior pituitary gland. So really quickly, thyroid stimulating hormone is released from the anterior pituitary gland in response to low levels of thyroid hormone. If we look at our pituitary gland, it sits in our brain uh, and we have an anterior lobe and we have a posterior lobe. The anterior lobe secretes TSH, follicle stimulating hormone LH, MSH, ACTH, uh, and a few other hormones while the posterior pituitary gland secretes uh, ADH and oxytocin. So it's important to understand that when we're talking TSH, we're really talking pituitary gland as well as thyroid gland. And then when you think thyroid gland, when you think these thyroid hormones, I want you to really be thinking about metabolism. All right, the thyroid gland and the thyroid hormones play a huge role in metabolism. So the TSH basically communicates to the thyroid gland to release thyroid hormones. These include T3 and T4, uh, which really, like I said, help to regulate metabolism. So T3 and three and T4 have an inverse relationship with TSH. So as T3 and T4 go down, as the body senses that there's low levels of thyroid hormone, TSH is going to go up. So it plays this feedback loop here where when it's low, we're going to secrete more TSH. When T3 and T4 are high, we're going to not secrete as much TSH. We're not going to tell a thyroid to do as much, okay? So what's going to cause increased levels of TSH? Remember, we're talking TSH here. That's going to be things like hypothyroidism, thyroidectomy, uh, thyroid dysfunction, thyroiditis, and then a pituitary uh, TSH secreting tumors. If we have any tumors on our pituitary gland, that might cause TSH to be secreted at higher levels. Okay, And things that are going to cause decreased levels are pituitary hypofunction or hyperthyroidism. Okay, So if, if our thyroid is functioning too high and we're putting out too much T3, T4, our TSH is going to go down. Or if our pituitary gland isn't working as it should, if for whatever reason we have a malfunction with our pituitary gland or hypofunction of our pituitary gland, we're going to see decreased levels of TSH. So I really want you to think of that relationship with T3, T4 and TSH to where it kind of plays this feedback mechanism here where when low T3, T4, when we have low thyroid hormone, we're going to increase our TSH. Okay, And then thyroid as a whole, I want you really to think about metabolism. For example, in, in situations of hyperthyroidism, we're going to have high metabolism. You know, you're going to see these patients uh, with palpitations. You're going to see these patients with uh, with high metabolism being losing weight. For patients with hypothyroidism, you're going to see they're going to be gaining weight. They're going to have buffalo hump, those types of things. That's what I want you to keep in mind with TSH, and I hope that helps.